Terraria, Fallen Stars are pretty useful. Mana Stars are near essential for their Mage class, and the Star Cannons are incredibly strong. They do, however, have a use outside of crafting, naturally occurring star kills. This feature is considered unreasonably rare by most in the community. Really though, how rare is it for a natural fallen star to kill something in Terraria? During the night, fallen stars have a random chance to spawn every in-game tick. This chance changes based on world size, meaning that the chance of encountering a fallen star in a specific place remains roughly the same. The Meteor Shower is an in-game event that has a 1 in 10 chance of triggering every in-game night. This event randomly increases the fallen star chances by up to 5 times. An increase of this magnitude brings the average fallen stars from 41 per night all the way up to 205. Fallen stars have a size of around 2 blocks in diameter, so over 400 blocks will be hit at least once during an optical meteor shower in a small world. Four hundred blocks may seem like a lot, but the chance of a boss getting randomly hit by a star is smaller than it would appear. Some bosses travel into the ground, meaning that even if a star were to hit them, the ground blocks it. King Slime, however, doesn't do this, and if the For the Worthy seed is used, its size will increase drastically. I decided to test how long it would realistically take for someone to see a fallen star hit a boss if the criteria were perfect. Now. There isn't a way for me to guarantee that meteor showers have the maximum increase or even spawn in the first place, so they will be excluded from my testing. This this section is recorded live. Uh, basically, uh, since the tick speed is since they spawn based off of a chance per tick, the optimal way to do it is and make and maximize the speed that the game runs at, and then just every time it reaches day you just change it back to dusk so that way more can spawn uh, for the worthy so that way slime has extra health and um, just wait for him to teleport here also gonna have to worry about demolitionist killing him Oh, there we go. We got it. Uh, it didn't kill King Slime, but um, it hit him. So that that's how long it takes. That roughly that many nights. Um. Even after maximizing the chances as much as I could, it still took quite a few nights for it to happen. This is because the numbers are somewhat misleading and Fallen Stars hitting bosses really is rare after all. This is kind of the inclusion I was expecting to come to, but it's interesting nonetheless. Tire infantry, you like the taste of brains, we don't like zombies. 